so this is the page that you will use to report bugs we will explain how to fill all these requirements and how to report the bug correctly and in a way that uh, will be very acceptable for the test team lead or the developer now of course when you try to report a bug you use this button right here but you don't know how to reach this one so I know that but we have to take first how to report a bug and then we're gonna move to the registration process and, and the all these steps before uh, getting paid invitations we will make all these uh, things together but I wanted to clarify first how you report a bug to, to let you understand how you will apply what you have learned in the theoretical part till now so let's see what's written here when you um, press on report issue you will have this gray rectangle and then you will start proceeding in the um, what is the process in delivering your bug report but here he is telling you for this test cycle right here what is the right way to write your bug title so this is very important step right here the bug title uh, has you know different uh, ways or different format according to the requirements of each test cycle for example someone may tell you to write your uh, mobile uh, your mobile OS or your mobile uh, model as the first uh, part of your uh, bug title but maybe others will tell you just like here to write the area directly and then the bug description the area is a place where you found the bug I mean the page the part or the component of the application for example you found it in the hamburger menu the hamburger menu means any menu for an application or even a website when you you know just like the three dots that makes you open a menu in which you have all the main pages just like this one right here this is the menu after writing the area you write the bug description the description should be you know very clear and it should be you know not so long because you have a limit for the words you use so here as you see they are writing connect button is not working well this is very very clear and to the point don't write I can't don't write um, I'm not able to I mean yeah, you can write this but you know remove the I the personal pronouns uh, just go on to an action verb so connecting uh, this uh, part of the application is not functional so here you are you know you are saying to the developers that the function of the connection part of the application is not working for example the application freezes uh, when you connect when you connect it through the uh, mobile data not the Wi-Fi so using the mobile data makes the app freezes this is very descriptive manner of writing your title do not write personal pronouns okay let's see here what are the steps of writing the bug report it's not so long it's not you know difficult or something they are all things that you will do in every pub report and they are all the same so it will be a very very routine um process that you will get used to very quickly and easily so here you will write the issue title with the way you know clarified in the gray uh, box above each issue or in each test cycle and here he is telling you that these bugs were reported before so do not report duplicates duplicates are any bugs that have been um, reported before you you do i mean uh, maybe uh, you will have testers you will have other testers in each test cycle and they may find the bug before you and report it so do not report it again because of course they will not you know pay for the same bug twice so do not report duplicate bugs 
The type of the bug is something that we have talked about before and we have explained if it's a content bug, a performance, visual, functional, or crash. The frequency is how many times or how frequent you meet this bug. And 99% of the bugs that you will deliver is actually happen every time. Every time you will see this bug. So every time you will do the, the actions, perform it, you will get the same result, which is the error in functionality or error in performance or whatever the type. But the bug is, the bug happens every time you make the same steps. Priority uh, is also something we have explained how how prior the bug is, how how important it is, and how fast it should be fixed. And here you decide. And here actually in in new in new test, it's a mix between severity and priority. I mean, a, a, a logo uh, error is something that should be. Uh, corrected fast so it's a high but it never be critical because critical means it's something in functionality it must be in the core functionality of the application let's see the and actually every crash is a, is critical I mean you can uh, be sure or you can make sure that when you report a crash I think 99% of crashes that I have met or anybody else reported were critical in my environment, you write what was the environment used you used to um, reproduce the issue. I mean, maybe you have more than mobile one mobile. You have uh, an iPhone, a tablet, and uh, another mobile, and you must decide which device from these that you have made the bug on, because maybe the Android needed for this uh, test cycle is Android 8 so you cannot choose HTC desire to, to reproduce a bug actually you cannot test on HTC desire if the, if the needed the Android version is 8 in this box you write the actions performed the actions performed are actually uh, the steps to reproduce a bug and you write them in numbers just like this one and a uh, number one for example uh, open the application open the and you name the application don't write the application write the name of the application so here you will write the name uh, or maybe the website open the WWE website to uh, tab the main menu or tab the menu three choose uh, setting for after choosing the setting you may uh, try to modify the uh, something in, in the setting so however these are the uh, steps you perform in to reproduce the bug so you're gonna tell the developer what to do to reproduce that same bug uh, that you have found the expected result and the actual result is actually what you have found and what was expected to be found for example when you open the setting you should see uh, this and this and this but what happened is that the setting page was empty for example for example if you open the setting page the app crashes if you try to change the language in the setting the app crashes so this is uh, so here to, to write that in an actual and expected result we will say that the expected result for example if changing the language in the setting the language will be changing this is the expected result but the actual result uh, the app crashes or the language did not uh, change so this is an error in functionality this is not should be the function this shouldn't be the function or maybe it's a crash as we said before the app crashes the error message is actually when you get an error sometimes when you try to for example open a video you will get an error message and an error message should be written in this box exact device here you will write your device model for example iPad Air 2 uh, Huawei P20 Lite or Huawei P20 
go just like this the channel here the channel is something apart from our explanation here the exact OS the exact OS means it the version of your Android or the version of your iOS the iOS is actually the system that is running the iPad or the iPhone your iPhone 8 for example will run on an uh, iOS 12 beta so this is the OS connection type Wi-Fi or mobile data uh, the account you use sometimes when you when you are doing a test on a, a mobile application or something they are telling you to use a certain account they will give you in the overview of the test cycle so you have to uh, determine what was the account you used maybe sometimes they will give you a, a premier a premier you know membership and it's a, a certain account that have a premier membership and you will use this account uh, the language is actually sometimes they will say the device language maybe you have set your device into Arabic to make a localized uh, test project or the device language or the maybe the, the language of the application itself the language of the website so sometimes you will be ordered to test the a site on its own language the native language for example English which is the normal one or sometimes you will be on a localized uh, test cycle in which the website or the application should be turned into the Arabic version the exact date and time in which you found the bug this should be written and you might you may write it just like the clock and plus 2 GMT if you are in Egypt or whatever the GMT in your country or maybe you can write it on the Pacific time so you choose the time that you are habituated to deal with and write it here the country of course is the country that you have tested from and additional environment information in this box you write uh, for example the Android version the web browser version you can write this here so in the additional environment info you give more information about the environment the environment is a place where the test happened your mobile you will write about the Android version or maybe the the model of your application sorry the, the version of your application the, the version of your browser and some other things but this is actually is not it's optional you are not forced to write anything in the additional environment info you can leave it empty here the attachments we will discuss the attachments later because the attachments uh, have four types I guess uh, the screenshot and this is easy of course but uh, you will be asked to make you know a, a red square on the place of the bug for example the error message you will make a square on it a red square uh, or um, another thing that you will be asked to attach is the video for the the bug while you are reproducing it uh, live on live uh, the last thing that you will be ordered to uh, and sometimes there is another thing also which is a speed test screenshot the speed test screenshot is actually a website that measures the connection speed of your internet uh, you will take a screenshot for your connection speed uh, and you will attach it here the last thing the is the log and the log is actually a process that needs to be learned in a separate video so I have made another video for capturing the log and each you know environment has its special way to capture log so it's one of the uh, the very important things that you have to learn about testing or software testing and bug reporting but if you learn it well I guess it will not you will not face any problems in delivering any uh, log report in your issue thanks for listening